What's going on guys? I got a pretty cool video for today. We're going to find out how long it would take the 2022 Michigan Wolverines college hockey team to win a Stanley Cup. Now I was hoping to make this video after they won the Frozen Four. Unfortunately they lost the Denver Pioneers who actually went on to win it all. I didn't realize they had a ton of NHL prospects on their team so losing them in OT you know definitely isn't the worst thing ever especially when they end up being the eventual champs. They actually had three revving prospects on their team too which is pretty cool but this Michigan team even though they didn't win it all definitely has the most future NHL talent on this team probably of any college hockey team ever so you could definitely you know build an NHL team with this college hockey team and I'm curious to see will they win a Stanley Cup so right here guys I look at the roster of course led by first overall pick Owen Power there 77 medium elite the ratings might be a bit different than what you guys remember also too you might notice I've actually added some next year recruits to this team just to give them a bit better of a chance here so down the list you can see Fantilli and Nazar you got Matthew Beniers there Ken Johnson Luke Hughes so our top four players were for the top five picks in the 2021 draft which is insane uh, Brendan Brisson there very good player also a former first round pick Adam Fantilli here 70 overall High Elite actually has the highest potential of anyone, and he's supposed to go third overall 2023 behind Bedard and Michkov. From what I've read, if he was in this year's draft, he'd be competing for first overall with Shane Wright. You then have Frank Nazar, who's supposed to go top 10 in this year's draft. Both these players committed to Michigan for next season. Thomas Bordelow here was an early second round pick by the Sharks. Mackie Moskovic, first round pick by the Panthers, has someone like the nicest hands on the team you can see there. A6 puck control, 85 deking, couple X factors. Then you got Nick Blankenberg here, who's actually the captain of the team. And I didn't expect this, but Columbus signed him to a one year contract. So I had his potential as like AHL top four. Once he got signed by Columbus, I bumped it up a bit to medium seventh because he had a solid season, but he's a 23 year old playing on the college team. So definitely an advantage when you're an older player like that. Johnny Beecher there, 64 overall, former first round pick by the Bruins. Hasn't really mattered much yet, but still, first round pick, he's got the potential. Then you have Michael Passajov here, who's a pretty solid player. Plays in their top six, but again, he's 22, so he's a bit older. His brother, Sasha, actually plays for the Gulf Storm, was drafted by the Ducks. Uh, Dylan Duke here, I think, was a fourth round pick by the Lightning, so 1862 medium top nine, I think, is fair. I believe he's on the third line for Michigan. Uh, Jacob Truscott here was actually a fifth round pick by the Vancouver Canucks. He's played pretty well at Michigan this season. Then you have Ethan Edwards here who was a fourth round pick by the Devils. A bit more defensive, so similar rating potential. Next year, Rucker McGrory, you'll see he's 17. He's going to be a first round pick in 2022. Committed to Michigan for next season. Same goes for Seamus Cassie. He's supposed to be a first round pick in this year's draft. Committed to Michigan for next season. So added those like, you know, four commitments for next season just to kind of help round out this team. Uh, Jimmy Lambert there, alternate captain. You can see 24 years old, he's kind of like the dad of this team. Uh, Nolan Moyle there, another alternate captain. I'm not even sure if either of those guys are actually going to be starting, but their alternate captains had to include them. And finally here, guys, last year on the team, Eric Ciccolini was a seventh round pick by the Rangers back in 2019. He's 60 overall there, low top nine. So there are some players, obviously, on the real-life Michigan college team who didn't make this team. As we only need 20 players, and it takes a while to make these guys, so it just didn't make sense to make every single person they're just going to be stretched. Now, in terms of goaltending, Eric Ortillo here, really solid, uh, 21 years old, 60 overall, medium starter. He was actually a third round pick by the Buffalo Sabres a couple drafts ago. And then backing him up, you got Noah West. You can see there his potential is just AHL backup because probably never going to make the NHL or anything like that. But as long as Ortillo can at least get up to a low 80, ideally mid 80, we'll be fine in net, I think. So overall, like looking at this team, I definitely think with the right growth, they can definitely be a Stanley Cup contender. And if you guys remember, I made this same video with the 2022 Canada World Junior Team, which also had Owen Powers and Ken Johnson on it, and it took them eight years to win the Stanley Cup. Let me know in the comments section how many years do you think it's gonna take this Michigan team to win? The Canada World Junior Team was 62 overall, this Michigan team is 56 overall. So they're starting out a little lower rated, but honestly guys, I feel like the Canadian World Junior Team should have won before eight years. So if you had to ask me, you know, over under eight years for Michigan Wolverines, I'm taking the under. And as always, guys, we're going to start with the Arizona Coyotes here just because of the lowest rated team. And as I mentioned, I think my Michigan alumni video, check that one out if you haven't yet. I feel like Michigan can fit in the central. Like, you know, they're not too far at all from Chicago, a lot of the teams in that division. So top players, of course, we already saw Owen Power, Matty Beniers, Kent Johnson, Arena there, Yoast Ice Arena. We are 56 overall, as I showed. So we're the lowest rated team in the NHL by far. I think the new lowest rated is the Buffalo Sabres, who still have, you know, 18 overall points on us. But... We're an up-and-coming young team. I think, like, year four, year five, we'll be competing for a playoff spot. Now, next year, guys, I'm going to show you what the lines are looking like. For the first season, I'm just going to use their real-life lines, at least the best I can without getting bad chemistry. So, first line there of Kent Johnson, Matty Beniers, and Brendan Brisson gets a plus five. Second line here, you got Michael Passageau, Thomas Bordelow, and Adam Fantilli getting a plus one. 
Dylan Duke, Johnny Beecher, Mackenzie Moskovic on the third line, no boost. We then have Nolan Moyle, Jenny Lambert, and Eric Ciccolini on the fourth line getting a minus one. So a couple changes I'm making. Ciccolini goes to the third line, no minus. Also, Moskovic on the second line, we get a plus two. So just a couple minor changes there to, you know, not get the minus. And in terms of the defense, guys, I've got Owen Power on the top pair with Seamus Cassie. Luke Hughes, second pair with Truscott. Bottom pair there is Edwards and Blankenberg. So I was mixing it all around. The best I could find was actually power on the second pair with Luke Hughes. Now, this might actually help their development. They'll be getting better matchups there. There are two, you know, future top pairing defensemen. So we'll try that. I'm not really a huge fan of getting a minus. Of course, in goal, Portillo's our starter. Wes is backing him up. And kind of surprisingly, special teams actually worked out really well for this team. Plus five first power play, plus two on the second. Forming there's a plus five. PK's a plus three and a minus one, which isn't terrible. I'm wondering if I could get slightly better. I'll take a plus two and a zero. And the three man there is two zero, so really can't complain. Now you guys might have noticed I have the two older alternate captains, Jimmy Lambert and Nolan Moyle, both starting this first season. As I figured I made them, I might as well have them play at least one season for us. So um, in this first season, I've got both Frank Nazar and McGrory scratched, as they actually aren't on the team yet. They're committed for next year. They're both 17. Whereas Fantilli, who's 16, I think he turned 17 like December of the first season, and Cassie need to play for us. So you know, hopefully those uh, super rookies, I guess we'll call them, play well. Now in terms of the captaincy guys, in case you're wondering, Matty Beniers, as I mentioned, is wearing an A. Same with Pat Sujov. Also there you got Blankenberg wearing a C. In real life, they actually have four alternate captains. So the two that are only playing the first season uh, don't get to wear them, unfortunately. And I'll show you guys the ratings next here. Through the preseason, row and six. So not a good start. Brendan Briston leading score there, four points in six games. We've got 58 offense, 54 defense, and 51 goal pending. So not the best stats, but I do really like how these jerseys look. Right there, you guys can see the home. Right there is the away. And right there is the alternate. Again, if you guys know anything about the Michigan jerseys, I feel like these are actually pretty good, you know, considering the limitations. So we will get start with the simulation now, guys, and see how they do in year one. And so we're the end of season one here, guys. We finished a record at 10-70-2, which, uh, no surprise, last in the NHL there with 22 points. Leading scorer, Ken Johnson at 55 in his rookie season. That's not too bad at all. Uh, we'll see how everyone else did here in their first year. But I'm not going to bother taking a look at the ratings until the start of next year. It's going to change during the summer anyways. Uh, Brendan Brisson there, 52. Matty Beaners, 48. You can see some pretty bad plus minuses. Owen Power, 41 for D-Man. Not bad. Fantilli, 34. The 17-year-old, pretty good. Bordelow there, minus 69. Not too nice. Beecher, Samoskovich, Luke Hughes could have scored a bit more. Uh, Blankenberg, minus 101. Uh, I wonder why his plus minus there was so, so bad. I'll take a look here and just see. So Dylan Dukes was the best, and Blankenberg's was the worst. Goaltending wise, Portillo here, 0.882 and a 4.77. For a 64, that's now a 66. That's really not too bad. We should take a look at the two guys I sent to the AHL, see how they did. Uh, Frank Nazar, 72. He's now 18. Didn't change in rating, though. And let's see, I almost thought McCartney was the one I was looking for. Rucker McGordy here, only 26. He was playing first line. Uh, surprised he kind of produced that little. Luckily, technically, you know, not even supposed to be here yet, so not too bad. Like I said, guys, we'll sim to next season now and, and see how everyone's growing over the summer. And look at this, guys. Draft results are in, and the Buffalo Sabres are picking first overall. Ottawa second. We dropped to three, but I guess that's good. Shane Wright's not just going to be, you know, stuck in the AHL for the next decade or whatever. Uh, we also got a pick there from Montreal that's picking 12. Again, we're not going to use anyone else other than our Michigan team. doesn't matter who we're drafting. St. Louis Blues there win the Stanley Cup. I will take a look at the awards, as there's a good chance one of our guys got to Bill Masterton. Toronto Maple Leafs there won the President's Trophy. St. Louis beat the Capitals in the Stanley Cup Final. Marner there won the Art Ross. He also won the Hart Trophy. Morgan Riley, James Norris. So Toronto popped off this season. Debrinket, Lady Bing, Lundell, Calder. Uh, Riley there, Con Smythe. That's his second. Gibson, Vesna, Darcy Kemper, William Jennings. Blankenberg there, the captain of the team, got to Bill Masterton, and he had the worst plus minus. So maybe a really bad plus minus is actually what gives you the Bill Masterton. I think I, maybe after all these sims, finally figured it out. Blackhawks coach Jack Adams, Couturier Selkie, Martin also got Ted Lindsay, and then Ovechkin there with another Marisha Shard. And I thought this was kind of funny, guys. The actual Matty Beniers, who's playing for Seattle's AHL team, had the most points in the AHL, won MVP as well. He had best rookie, so... That is pretty cool. And actually, a guy on our team, Liam Kirk, had the most goals. So, at the start of the second season now, guys, as you can see, in seven preseason games, Fantilli's the leading scorer with three points, which isn't too good of a sign, but the team is a lot higher rated now, which is good. First line's looking pretty nice. Johnson, Beniers, and Brisson all way up in rating with the plus five. They're basically like mid to high 80s. I noticed Kent Johnson here after one rookie season 
His puck skills are basically perfect. All 96, that's crazy. I mean, he does have such a cans in real life. I don't think that's too, too far off. Uh, Thomas Bordelow playing with Fantilli and Nazar on the second line, getting a plus three. This is Nazar's first time in the NHL. I think he's going to grow quite a bit with that medium elite. Samoskovic, Beecher, Duke on the third line. Kind of like Johnson, Samoskovic, one rookie season, and his hands are already nasty. We then have Ciccolini, McGrody, and Passageau on the fourth line, getting a plus one, which is nice. Defensively here, Power and Luke Hughes are now in the top pair, getting a plus three. I have, like, the coaches set to auto, so I'm not sure if we got new coaches or what, but really like that chemistry boost. Uh, Blankenberg, Edwards in the second pair get a zero. Same with Truscott, Casey, bottom pair. Uh, Truscott's a bit more offensive, but you do this, you can see, kind of messes it up. Goaltending wise uh, Portillo should be the starter now, 69. He's got, like, four or five seasons left to grow, like I said. I need him to be at least a low 80 to have a chance. Special team wise, plus five on both power plays and four man. PK one's a plus five, three man no downgrade. Like that is awesome. Again, uh, the two older guys there, Nolan Moyle, Jimmy Lambert, the third and fourth alternate captains are just gonna be scratched from here on out. So I'll see how the team does. I think, you know, should be able to hit, maybe push like 20 wins. And the regular season's now over, guys. We almost hit 20 wins. We were close. 18, 58, and six, our final record. So an improvement, which is all we wanna see, 42 points. I feel like 42 points isn't unrealistic for like a really bad NHL team. So to be there in our second year, I'm very happy with that. Brendan Brisson there, big season from him, 64 points in 82 games. I'll see how everyone else did. He's actually up to an 80 now. He started at like a 79. Ken Johnson, 61. Uh, Matty Beers, 57. The plus minuses aren't as terrible either. Like the first line there, all less than minus 30. Fantilli here putting up 54 points. It would actually be his draft year, like his first real NHL season wouldn't be until 23-24, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, Luke Hughes, 47, Owen Power, 45, so pretty good for our top D pair. Samoskovich, 42, Nazar, 41, as a rookie who's 72 overall isn't bad at all. Uh, Bordelow, I'd like a bit better than 33, especially playing second line. Blankenberg, 32 is not bad. I need him to at least get to like a 70-something, got to rely on him heavily. Uh, Truss got 18, Beecher, 16. He has a 72 now at least though, okay, so... I mean, overall, they didn't do too, too bad. Let's see. Goalie-wise, Portillo, 0.894, 3.95. So much better goals against, almost 900 save percentage. Uh, he's now a 70 overall, which is good to see. So, yeah, I really cannot complain with these guys. And look at this, guys. Draft results are in. Boston picking first overall. They'll be getting Conor Bedard. We're picking second, which means we get Mitchkov. And I can't even sign him. He's going to become a free agent because if I sign him, the game will crash. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks there win a Stanley Cup. So, back-to-back... Central Division Stanley Cup winners. It's honestly kind of surprising to see. Not so much St. Louis, but definitely Chicago. Colorado there won the President's Trophy. Chicago beat Toronto in the Stanley Cup Finals. So Toronto's, you know, had a couple of good seasons, but no cup yet. Patty Kane, Art Ross. Crosby, though, got the Hart. McCarr, James Norris. Backstrom, Lady Bing. Beneers there got the Calder, but on Seattle. Obviously, ours is no longer a rookie. Con Smythe there, Patty Kane. Merz Lincoln's Vesna Trophy. Interesting. Jack Campbell with Avalanche. William Jennings, okay. Uh, Ryan Pollock there with Columbus, Bill Masterton. We did not get it. That is actually surprising. Minnesota Jack Adams, O'Reilly Selkie. Sidney Crosby also got the Ted Lindsay Trophy. And then over there, another Marisha Shard. This guy's definitely breaking the goals record. And check this out, guys. Dylan Gunther's now 87 overall, just from playing in junior, which is kind of crazy. Maybe that's the way to go. That's like the most I've ever seen him grow. Although I did like make his stats a bit better, so he's more of a scorer now, plus... Maybe add an X Factor or two. And I was right. We did get Matthew Meechkov. So just not even touching him. I can't go near him. Like I said, the game's going to crash. Very curious to see if he's going to sign him in, what, three years? So we're about to start season three here, guys. We're looking a lot better in the preseason. We have a record of 2-3-2, two, and two, which I think is our best one yet. Ken Johnson averaging almost two points a game there. You can see total playmaker, three goals, ten assists. Uh, I'll show you guys the roster here, what the lines are looking like. So Johnson's down 85. And yeah, puck skills. By next year, it'll be all 99, which is crazy. Uh, Beniers is also 85. Brisson's 84. So basically, they're all playing like 90s, which is really nice. Fantilli, Nazar, and Samoskovich on the second line also get a plus 5. We then have Pastajov, Bordelow, and Beecher on the third line. Duke, McGrory, and Ciccolini on the fourth line. Defensively, Power and Hughes, of course, still top pair, but they now have zero boost. Uh, Seamus Casey here with Edwards on the second pair. Truscott, Blankenberg on the bottom pair. I'm thinking, like, once we get pretty competitive, if I'm not liking the chemistry, I'll definitely, you know, hire a new head coach. I'm not going to let the computer handle it. Uh, Portillo here up to a 74 now. So I think he's got four seasons left to grow, 23, 24, 25, 26. Should get to a low 80. Uh, no West evens up to a 60 with AHL back potential. Again, special teams look really good. Plus five on both power plays, four mans. 
first PK, three mans are zero. So I like, really like how these special teams look. Let's see how we do in year three. And so at the end of the season here, guys, we broke to 21, 54, and seven, which is good for 49 points. Honestly, I thought we were gonna do a lot better than that this year. Um, after the preseason, even after the first month or two, we were like 500. And then sometime in January, I think starting with the Hurricanes, or actually, you know, the LA Kings here, we won a 10 game losing streak, which kind of just derailed the season for sure. Definitely should have at least been in the 50s. As you can see here, 49 points is good for last in the NHL. Maybe next year will be the first year we don't get last. Not even years, though, almost a point per game. That is huge. Uh, he's 87 overall now as well. 30 goal season. Kent Johnson, 72. Uh, Brendan Brisson there, 66. Samoskovich, 59. He's up to an 80 now, so he's really starting to grow, which is nice. His shot there looks really good as well. Fantilli, 53. He's only 19. Nazar, 52. He's up to a 79. Uh, Owen Power, 50. Bordelow, 44. We need to get him growing. We need him to be at least an 80 overall for us. Luke Hughes, 39. Bit of a slower season for him because he's got awesome offensive stats there. Like, he should be putting up more points, especially top pair D on both power plays. Uh, Johnny Beecher, 26. He's starting to kind of slow down there. I feel like the rest of the guys kind of performing as you'd expect. Dylan Duke is a 70. I just need him to be like a 78 or so solid fourth line grinder for us. His D awareness there at 71. Um, I definitely need better than that. Goal tending wise, Portillo here. Still almost 900 save percentage, but not quite. He's up to a 75, so I'll take it. Look at the awards here, guys. You can see Washington Capitals taking home another Stanley Cup. So always now got two. President's Trophy there, Carolina Hurricanes. And Washington took out the Calgary Flames. Individual awards here. McKinnon on Washington wins the Art Raj Trophy. Well, if McKinnon's going to leave Colorado, sign with Washington as a free agent, him and Ovi, that's a dynamic duo for sure, especially with Batchman getting older. McKinnon also wins a heart after leaving Colorado. Gutless. Uh, Quinn Hughes there, James Norris, Marner, Lady Bing, Danielson there, Calder, I'm surprised it wasn't Bedard, um, Ovechkin there, Con Smythe, Swayman, Vesna Trophy for Boston, Binnington, Liam Jennings, Actually shared it with Huso. Uh, Smirkov on the Penguins. So the Oilers traded him. Chicago coach again, Jack Adams. That's the second time in three years. O'Reilly back-to-back -back Selkies. McKinnon got Ted Lindsay there. And then Matthews actually takes on the Maurice Richard. And so I'm starting season four here, guys. Brendan Brisson, preseason scoring leader, 9.7 games. We went three and four. I'll show you guys what the lines are looking like. Basically the same as last season. Uh, that first line, I feel like we can't break up. It's a real-life first line. It's doing very well. Uh, Fantilli there with Nazar and Samoskovich. It's kind of crazy. Like, Fantilli is still only 19. Like, he's going to get better. Uh, McGordy here, even, only a 71, but he's 20. Like, that's still a pretty good prospect. Uh, Bordelow there, Beecher. Beecher actually only has, you know, a few years left. But he's a 78. Ciccolini, Patsajov, Duke at a minus one. Um, I thought it actually was zero when I had Patsajov in the middle, but I think it was just a glitch. So... For a fourth line, it's probably fine. We actually roll three lines anyways, I just noticed. Defensively here, uh, I think no change, same pairings. Goaltending-wise, Portillo's now 78, which is pretty solid. West to 61. Uh, special teams still look really good. All the power plays getting plus fives. PK one plus five, three-man zeros. So, yeah, like this team, maybe, finally, won't get last this season. We'll see. And check this out, guys. It only took us four years. We finally didn't finish last in the NHL. We're still last in our division. Only one point back to the Predators, though. Uh, record there, 32, 43, and 7. You can see four points back to the Sabres. We beat the Islanders there by 11. We also beat the Sharks there by 13. One point back to the Kraken. So, you know, we're making baby steps here, making progress. I think I said playoffs by year four or five. Clearly, that was a little bit too ambitious. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? Johnson, they're up to an 88 now. Had a point per game, basically. Uh, plus five, nice to see. Not a minus. Uh, Brendan Rasson there, plus two. Veneers, plus four. Both those guys had 78 points with 30 goals, 48 assists. Identical uh, seasons, pretty much. Samoskovich, 54. Need him to get scoring a bit more. Frank Nazar, 50. The dude's 21, 85 overall. A lot better defensive stats than I expected. Like, a really good all-around player. Luke Hughes, 47. He needs to be scoring more. Like, Luke Hughes has, like, you know, the talent, has the stats. Like, look at that shot for a D-man. That's crazy. He's got to, you know, start scoring some points. Uh, Fantilli there, 45. Again, dude's 20. That's not bad. Bordelow, 43. Power, 36. Would like a bit better than that from him. Like, he's got 98 passing somehow, and he's only got 26 assists. Like, he needs to be doing better. Uh, goal tying wise here, Portillo. Still not 900 save percentage, but he's getting close there. I'll take it. He's 79, so he should be an 80 uh, by the start of next year. I'll take a look at the standings here, guys, because... Like I said, no longer we last. I just want to kind of see entire league. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom. I think we beat out, what I say, three teams. And we were, like, really close to two other teams. So I feel like, where are we? Yeah, we're third last in NHL. We're only a point back, though, of the fifth last team. 
Buffalo 75, New Jersey 78. What do we need for the playoffs this year? Uh, 90 points. So probably still no playoffs next year, but by year six, I feel like we could maybe be competing for that spot. And check this out, guys. The Washington Capitals are back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. I mean, when you add Nathan McKinnon to that team, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. They beat Colorado. Wow, McKinnon, just an absolute villain in this sim. Ovi there, Arash Trophy, and the heart. The car there was another James Norris. New hook, Lady Bing, okay. Logan Cooley, Calder Trophy with Pittsburgh. McKinnon got the Conn Smythe. Uh, Markstrom there, Vesna, also got the Liam Jennings Trophy. Uh, Borgen there, Bill Masterton. We actually haven't won it since our first season, which is really surprising because we've been so bad. Uh, Pittsburgh coach there, Jack Adams. O'Reilly, third straight Selkie. Ovi, Ted Lindsay. Sagan, though. Marisha Shard Trophy, okay. And we're going to start with Season 5 here, guys. We had a 5-2 and two record through the preseason, which I think is actually our best one yet. Uh, Brendan Brisson there, 12-7. and seven. Good to see that. So the team's definitely, you know, coming along here. Like, this first line is nasty. Johnson, Beniers, Brisson. They're all going to be playing, like, 95s with a chemistry boost. Uh, even second line there, Fantilli, Nazar, Samoskovic. They're playing, like, 90s. Again, Nazar's only 21. Fantilli's only 20. We still have some time. I noticed, too, obviously, Johnson now has 99 everything for hands. Same goes for Samoskovic, like that's got to help them out. Uh, third line definitely drops a bit, but McGrordy here, 21-73, trying to get him growing. Uh, he's a little bit behind, maybe because he sat out that first year, I don't know. But uh, Beecher there is an 82, Bortolo is an 81. If our third line's all, you know, low to mid-80s, we're looking good. Fourth line's pretty low rated, but the fourth line will be okay. But right now, Passage of Duke and Ciccolini should be fine again. Still getting minus one. Uh, Power Hughes, both 89s. I wish we had a boost there, but unfortunately we do not. Uh, Casey here, 2180. He's looking really good. Edwards, Truscott, both 23, 79, medium top six. So 79 could be considered, you know, a top six defenseman. I'm hoping they can at least get up to an 80. Unfortunately, Blankenberg here, now a 27. He's done growing. Uh, his potential actually dropped AHL top two. Kind of crazy, like medium seventh. You know, he didn't at least get to like a mid 70, but I think it's because he already was like 23, 24 years old. I started him at 65, which I thought was pretty fair. And Unfortunately, it didn't grow enough. Now, for a 70 overall defenseman, he's actually got a really nice shot. Decent skating, okay hand. Like, for our sixth guy, it's not terrible. Uh, Goaltending-wise, Portillo's down at 81, so a couple seasons left to grow. He could get up to, like, 84, I'm hoping. Uh, no West isn't the best backup, but we'll be fine. And then special teams here, guys, still. All those plus fives is awesome to see. So, year five. Will it be the year we make the playoffs? I don't think so, but... Maybe year six. We're now into year five here, guys. The record of 29, 45, and eight. So still not a great team, but at least we know we are like an NHL team. We actually beat out the Blues there, so didn't finish last in the division. Um, we beat out the Islanders by one, the Sharks by one as well. So fourth last in the NHL, opposed to third last. Matty Beniers, what a season for him. 91 overall now, and he's a point per game player. Kent Johnson, basically a point per game with 60 assists. Unfortunately, that top line actually all had dashes this season. Brisson there, 76, isn't too bad. I'm surprised he's also got so many assists. I know Kent Johnson, the pass shoot attribute I had way heavy on the pass, but I thought Brisson was more in the middle. Speaking of which, so you can see he's also got 95 everything there for puck skills. Uh, Beniers is also like almost perfect. Uh, Samoskovic next best, 58. Nazar, 57. Power, 55, finally scoring a bit more. Fantilli had 50, again, he's only 21. Thomas Bordelow, 41, not bad. McGrordy there, 31, okay. Maybe he'll get growing. 22 goals, that's pretty good from him. Where is Luke Hughes? 25 points for 89 with those offensive stats, with some solid X factors, Heat Seeker, CNI, Send It. Like, I'm not sure why the guy's not producing more. Taking a look at Portillo here. Still no 900 save percentage, but that's okay. Like I said, as long as you can get to like 83, 84, I feel like we got a chance. And look at this, guys. Another Central Division Stanley Cup winner, Minnesota Wild. Uh, take a look at the rest of the awards. We haven't won an award since the first season. We got the Bill Masterton. Colorado, their President's Trophy, even without McKinnon. Wow, Capitals went to the Stanley Cup. They didn't win it this time, but almost three straight cups for them. Crazy. Obi with another Art Ross. So playing on McKinnon's wing is really helping him out. Another Hart Trophy. McCard, another James Norris there. McKinnon, Lady Bing. Kolesnik here, Calder. Kaprizov on the Con Smythe. Blackwood with the Vesna. Also won William Jennings on Carolina now. Uh, Pellick there, Bill Masterton. Leafs coach, Jack Adams. O'Reilly, fourth straight Selkie with the quad. Quad! Uh, Ovechkin there, Ted Lindsay. Line name, Risha Shard. So it's now the start of the sixth season. We have a record of 4-1-2 in the preseason, which is a pretty good start. Uh, Frank Nazar there, nine points in seven games. I'd like to make the playoffs this year. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Obviously, no worries with the first line. They're stacked. They're nasty. 
Second line's looking a lot better too. Samoskovich still an 85, but he's got medium top six. Nazar and Fantilli down both 87s. I forgot to show you guys this last year actually. Nazar's up to high elite potential. Also Brisson here up to high top six. So that's good to see. Um, McGrory now 79, playing with Bordalo, Beecher. The Beecher's actually an 84. He was kind of like slow to grow the first few seasons. Uh, was still like a low 70, but now 84 overall, power forward. Looks really good on that third line. Fourth line there is pretty low rated. Patsujov here is now 27, so he's done growing, but he's got a decent shot, decent offensive stats. He's fine for a fourth line player. Hopefully Duke Ciccolini can at least get to like high 70s. Obviously minus one doesn't help them, but it doesn't really make sense for any of them to not be on the fourth line. Defensively, uh, no changes there. Casey actually in 81 now. Edward Truscott still 79 again. They're going to have to really have a good season, I think, to break into the 80s with that medium top six. But if they stay 79, Casey gets up to like a mid 80. I think that's like a good enough defense, especially with Hughes and Power as a top pair. In terms of goal, Tenny, Portilla now in 82. This is the last year to grow. I really hope we have a good season. He can get to 84. West probably going to top out like a 62 or something, which isn't great for the backup. But it is what it is. I'm um, trying Luke Hughes, I think, on the right side for the four-man power play. I think everything else is pretty much the same. Again, I'm trying to get, you know, Hughes going here. Um, I think, like, PK, three-man, all looks the same. So, see how we do in the Sims. But then it's season 60 now, guys, and unfortunately, still no playoffs. 33, 42, and 7. Maybe I'm being, like, too optimistic. I feel like this team should be better than that. Um, I'll show you guys. Again, we're actually last in the division. Only win back the Blues and the Jets, but still, uh, the Kraken there, we did better than. They had 71. Sabres, one point better than. Penguins, three points better than. Uh, so one thing I'm actually going to do this summer, I thought I had it like set to auto coaches, but and maybe it is, but this head coach is a B-, minus. we need an A head coach, maybe that's a big reason for it. Also staff chemistry there, 40%. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time, clean house, bring in some new coaches, maybe that'll help this team out. I'll show you guys points here, Brendan Brisson, only 73, yeah, time for a change in that coaching staff. Veneer, 72, Fantilli, 65, same with Johnson, uh, Nazar, 64, Smoskovich, 58, Power at 50, Hughes at 33. He actually dropped from 89 to 88 last season. Forgot to mention that. Uh, Beecher there, also 33. I don't know how Bordalo is only putting up 24 points. He's playing third line. He's playing power play, 95 passing. Yeah, so we need uh, some new coaches here. Portillo, just about 900, but not quite. So uh, hopefully it's like good enough. He can still grow a little bit in his final season. And the playoffs are now over, guys. Tampa Lightning taking home the Stanley Cup. Kind of cool, our AHL team actually won the Calder Cup, which makes a lot of sense um, if I showed you guys AHL team's roster uh, starting next year. All the good prospects we've been drafting after finishing close to last in the standings are all just playing the AHL, like they can't be on the NHL team. So it makes sense their AHL team would be kind of stacked. Carolina Hurricanes there won the President's Trophy and Tampa Bay actually beat Dallas. Individual here, Ove wow, Ovechkin, third straight Art Ross. McKinney gets the heart this time though. So between the two of them, they won it the last four years. McCarr, third straight, James Norris. Ovechkin, Lady Bing. Wyatt Johnson there, Calder for Dallas. I love that as a Spitz fan. Kucherov, Conn Smythe. Blackwood with the Vesna back-to-back -back years. Also won another William Jennings Trophy. Swalinski there, Bill Masterton. Dallas coach, Jack Adams. Trocek, Selkie, interesting. He's on the Penguins now. McKinnon, Ted Lindsay. Dreisel, Marisha Shard. Okay, so uh, again, McKinnon, Ovechkin are just kind of running the NHL the past four years. So this is the seventh season now, guys, and I'm hoping this will be lucky number seven. We finally make the playoffs. 5-2 through the preseason, Frank Nazar there, 9.7 games, completely cleared house with the coaching staff. Our new head coach has an A overall, which is a lot better. Um, hopefully, you know, this is better. Staff chemistry, 73%. I think it's also an upgrade. Now, in terms of the lines, pretty much the same. We're still getting plus 5 in the top 6. Uh, I don't really think anyone's grown crazy. Uh, Bordelow there, still a 79. I think he was like an 82. He's actually dropped, which kind of sucks. And that line's getting a minus 1 now, but the fourth line isn't losing chemistry. Uh, defense is like the same. Casey there is an 82 now. Edwards is actually an 80, so that's nice to see. Uh, special team wise, even with the new coaches, you know, plus fives on the power plays. PK1 plus five, so it's pretty much the same. Uh, Portillo there, you can see, still 82 overall. Also, two guys I wanted to show you the AHL team that just won the Calder Cup. Uh, we actually did lose, I think, Liam Kirk, who was an 80, and still, like, the team's absolutely stacked. I feel like we should probably have the 87 overall on the first line, but that's nuts with Gunther. Coop here's medium elite 84, and I actually haven't like signed anyone or anything like that. It would take too long. I'm just re-signing prospects already have. Uh, top pair there. Simon Nemich made up dude's 87. Like pretty ridiculous. Timmons is still on the team 84. Not really a great goalie or anything, but like this team's clearly a juggernaut of an AHL team. So we'll see. Can the NHL team finally make the playoffs? Fingers crossed. 
Let's do it. All right, guys, if you ever play franchise mode, I would highly recommend not having auto staff management turned on as I think they were screwing us over at least the last one or two years. I finally fired all our coaches, hired new ones, and look at this, for the first time, we're in the playoffs. We are a wildcard team, um, 88 points though. That's our best season yet by far. Fourth in the division there. You can see Matty Beniers, 78 points, 82 games. I wanna show you guys too, we really should have finished even better than that, but we actually lost our last five games straight. Now, we were seven points back a third in the division, so it wouldn't really change our divisional standings, but we definitely would've been in the 90s, I think. So, we'll take a look and see what everyone else did. I mean, Beniers, almost a point per game. That's good to see. Hopefully, some other guys had some big years. They get growing again. Brendan Brisson there, 77. Power, 72. Big year for him. That is huge. I could see him getting up to like a 91 after that. Again, 99 passing. The guy should be putting up 50 plus assists every year. Smoskovich, big year as well, 70 points. That is awesome to see. Uh, we have Frank Nazar, 69. Nice. Fantilli, 66. Johnson, a bit of a down year, only 60 points. I wonder what the reason for that is. Uh, Thomas Bordelow, almost 50. Actually, I feel like he'll get back to an 80 now. He's 26. Beecher, 43. Luke Hughes, still really not performing for us. 35 points. I don't know what it is. The stats are there. I guess he could have like better puck skills, but other than that, I don't know. Like he should just be playing better. Now McGrory here, 33. I think he needs to be doing a little bit better than that. 24. He's only got you know so long left to grow. Blankenberg, you can see almost 30 years old now. Our captain, still a 70 overall. Uh, Portillo here, finally winning record. <laughs> Refuses to have a 900 save percentage. As close as you can get. I was gonna say if he had like really good numbers, even though he's 27, uh, he definitely still could have grown in rating. So. I'm um, overall happy with the team. We'll see where we finish the entire NHL because we're finally not, you know, bottom five in the league or whatever. Dallas wins the President's Trophy. Only two teams 100 plus. And we finish. Wow, the two New York teams get screwed. 13 and 14 in the NHL. We finish 17. So basically, uh, we deserve to be there. The Anaheim Ducks, 19, not really. So um, good to see that. Like I said, hopefully it could be, you know, in the playoffs again next year. Definitely, we're like, you know, looking for a Cinderella story here to make it. I think we're going to be playing Dallas first round, who won the President's Trophy. Actually, no, the Canucks, because Anaheim finished below us. Okay, so let's see how we do here, guys. Vancouver Canucks, come on. OT loss, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Okay, so our first time in the playoffs, bounced in the first round, but hopefully we're back next season. And check this out, guys. We actually lost the eventual Stanley Cup winner in the Vancouver Canucks. Also, AHL team, back-to-back -back color cup champs. I mean, I showed you guys the roster, like that team. So, so stacked. Matty Beniers there, over a point per game in the playoffs. Okay, like I said, we got to get back next season. And take a look at the awards here. Obviously, I think we know all the team awards. The Canucks beat the Washington Capitals, who have made the Stanley Cup Final for the last five years. That's insane. Um, individual here, Danielson. Kind of reminds me of, like, Karate Kid. Um, Art Ross Trophy there, made-up guy. Hart Trophy as well. McCars fourth straight Norris, Pashnak on Ottawa, Lady Bing, Sexton there, Calder, Peterson, Conn Smythe, Odinger, Vesna, Blackwood's third straight, William Jennings, uh, Smolinski there, Bill Masterton, Jets coach Jack Adams. I thought maybe we could have got it. We've First time in our you know history making the playoffs, come on. Uh, Barkov, Selkie, Danielson, Ted Lindsay, also on the Marie Richard. As now for season eight, guys, hopefully we're back in the playoffs this year. Matty Beniers there, 12 points in seven preseason games. I've actually messed with the lines a little bit because we've been, you know, kind of keeping the same thing for the past five years, it feels like. Fantilli here's on the first line. 23-91 high elite. If this guy can get up to a 95, playing with some superstars of Beniers and Johnson, I think it makes sense. Uh, Samoskovic, Nazar, and Brisson on the second line, still very solid, of course. All again plus fives. They're not really playing like plus five. I feel like they're playing like plus one or plus two, but whatever. Uh, Bordelow did go back up in rating. He's an 81 now. Still 26. This is his last year to grow. Uh, Beecher, they're up to an 85. Really surprised with his growth. McGordy, 81. Still has a few years left. Now, the fourth line really just didn't grow at all. Ciccolini, Duke, and Pat's a job. And honestly, I'm surprised like for Duke and Ciccolini because like their roles and other forwards, they should be able to you know grow if they're playing fourth line. I don't really get it. Ciccolini's actually down to AHL top six. Uh, defensively, Power Hughes, Power's up to a 91. Um, I think the same ratings there for the rest of the guys, same chemistry. Uh, Portillo there, still an 82. West still a 61. In terms of the special teams, as I mentioned, Beecher's gone up in rating. He's actually got a pretty solid shot on him, so he's on Power Play 1 now. Hughes hasn't really been doing much, so he's on Power Play 2. We'll see how that goes. I think the rest of it there, the same as it's always been. Like I said, hopefully, we can get back in the playoffs again this season. So this year was a disappointment, guys. We finished 36, 40, and 6, below 500. Uh, in December here, you can see we lost six straight games. I thought that was bad. I thought, I thought that might lead to us not making the playoffs. And then to make matters worse, in February, 
starting with this Predators game here, we lost 10 straight. Once that happened, we had no chance. Uh, we were still like in the fight until that. I think we were wild card and just outside. You can't lose 10 straight and make the playoffs usually. So uh, tough, I guess, season, but hopefully we can bounce back next year. Brendan Brisson, over a point per game. We did beat the Predators though, 78 points. Uh, I'll take a look and see where we are in the entire league. Sharks there, 49 Gs. So um, hopefully everyone had like individual success, so they keep the rating and stuff. Frank Nazari, 81 there. Benier, 78. Same with Johnson. Fantilli, 72. Big year for him. He's now 91. Samoskovic, 69. Nice. Power, 57. Luke Hughes, 39. is actually like a bit of a better year for him. Okay. Bordalo, only 29. Beecher, 27. I'm not really sure why the third line's not doing better, especially Beecher. Like, um, first power play, I think Bordalo's in the second power play. These guys should really, you know, be playing better than they are. In terms of goaltending, Portillo finally has 900 save percentage, unfortunately was not enough. You can see he's actually about 500. Noah West there, 3-10. and 10. That is tough. Maybe turn auto-rotate goalie off, just run uh, Portillo the entire season. It's a little, you know, more unrealistic, but Noah West is definitely hurting our chances. And so I just checked, guys, he finished 26th in the entire NHL, so not terrible, but not great either. And the Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup this year, guys. Our AHL team did not three-peat, unfortunately. So looking at the awards here, they beat the Dallas Stars. They're actually uh, been in the Stanley Cup final two of the last three years, but have not won it. Individual here, Kucherov, Art Ross, and the Hearts. Quinn Hughes, James Norris with the Vegas Golden Knights. Kucherov also got the Lady Bing. Comrie there, Calder Trophy. Oh, that's King Con Smythe with Montreal now. He's leaving McKinnon in Washington. Uh, Joel Heffer there, Ben Trophy, and the William Jennings Trophy as well. Lindgren, Bill Masterton, Blues coach Jack Adams, Cousins Selkie, Kucherov, Ted Lindsay, and then Vanek there on Tampa Bay. Marisha Shard. We're now start season 9 here, guys. We have a 5-1-1 record through the preseason. Unfortunately, have some sad news. Our captain, Nick Blankenberg, decided to retire on us. 31 years old. <laughs> Was tired of only making the playoffs one time in eight years. You can see Matty Veneers, though, playing quite well in the preseason. Almost two points per game. So... I actually decided to go out and get a former Michigan Wolverine, one that was actually on the team a year before last in real life, and that was Cam York. Surprisingly, didn't grow much of this simulation. You can see only 79 overall there at 20 years old. I've seen him get up to at least a mid-80 before, so I feel like it's not, you know, cheating too much. Our other guy was a 70, York's a 79. It's not really too much of an advantage at all. Um, in terms of the forward, I decided to put Brisson back on the first line. I think these are basically the lines we have when we made the playoffs. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, the power plays there, I think, are all the same. Ken York's on any of those or anything. So hopefully this team can get back to the playoffs. Um, as I mentioned, two decide to turn a goalie rotation off. So Portillo's going to be starting all 82 games. We'll see how he does. And here we go, guys. We just had our best season in the ninth year. 45, 30, and 7. So 45 wins ain't bad. You can see there we finished with 97 points. Third in our division. We actually going to be playing the Stars this year in the playoffs. So I'll take that for sure. Three points back of 100. Adam Fantilli there leading our team in scoring 88 points in 82 games. And that's playing second line as well. So I guess that worked out well. He's a plus 51. Geez. Uh, Nazar 86. Veneers 84. Brisson 82. So four guys on the team all 80 plus. Johnson pretty close with 78. Samoskovic 68. Ain't bad. There we go. Finally Luke Hughes helping out the team. Almost 50 points. Same with power. Um, I think that's you know definitely a big reason why we had success this year. Beecher almost 50, Sam Bordalo, let's go. So, not sure if the coaching, just having Cam York, essentially like a super senior, I guess, on this team. I think he actually won like NCAA Defensive of the Year, his final year at Michigan. Portillo there, 82 games played, just under 900. It's like they just don't want me to have that 900 save percentage. Um, not terrible though, I'd say. Probably not gonna go up in rain or anything like that, but that's okay. So, we're in the playoffs. Like, I cannot be upset. Curious to see where he finished the entire league. So a lot of teams there are actually at 100 plus. We finished 10th though in the entire NHL. Like, that's big for us. And one thing I just realized, guys, with our captain gone, I totally forgot to show you who the new captain of this team is. Kind of obviously, Matthew Beneers. Pass the job there, still reigning A, and I had to give the other eight Owen Power. I mean, first overall pick made a lot of sense to me. So, as I mentioned, Dallas Stars here, who we're going up against in the first round. Hopefully, can take them down. We got beaten in the first round last time by the eventual Stanley Cup winners in the Vancouver Canucks. Come on, boys. Let's get a Cinderella run going. Win, 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 loss. There we go. Beat the Stars in five. Next up, the Nashville Predators. I'm just going to send this entire series at once. Hopefully, get by Nashville. Uh, one nothing win. Oh, we sweep the Predators. Are you kidding me? We're 8-1 and one through two rounds. This team is rolling. We now have the Winnipeg Jets in the conference final. They got a former player of ours in Kyle Connor, who I think is still on the team. Come on, boys. Let's get it done. Winnipeg. 
Please. Oh. And who else do we have to play to win the Stanley Cup than the Washington Capitals? Are you kidding me? They don't have Ovechkin anymore, which is good, but they got McKinnon. They've been a dynasty. We beat Winnipeg there in six games. We're 12-3 and on the playoffs. Washington Capitals are up next. Let's see what happens here. First two games, a win and a loss. I will take that. You can't be upset with this good Washington. Oh, are you kidding? We just won both games at home in Ann Arbor. 4-1, 3-2. We are now one game away from being Stanley Cup champs. I'm not going to lie, guys. After last season, missing the playoffs year eight, I was starting to think, like, if we don't win the Cup, I might just call it after 10 years, especially when our captain retired on us. We're now one game away from being Stanley Cup champs, and we have three games to get it done. 1-1. One, one. Brisson, Hartman for them. 5-2, let's go. Casey, Brisson, Johnson, Nazar. Here we go. I can't believe it. We might actually pull it off. We're doubling them in shots. This Michigan team believes. Peterson there, though, makes it a close game. 5-3 now. 15 minutes left. Come on, guys. Hold on. Washington's starting to shoot a bit more, but no way. Connor Garland, halfway through the period. We're up one. They're on a power play. Fantilli there, shorthanded. Let's go. That's what we needed. And, oh, are you kidding me? One minute to go. Up one. This is going to be crazy. Now, we're in Washington, but if we do win, I want to wear uh, these jerseys. I think they're the nicest ones. And I just noticed not only does Washington now have McKinnon, they've also got Matthew Kachuk, so their team's looking much different. Here we go, guys. This is what you play for. Up one. Third period. Stanley Cup final. One minute away from being the champs. Fantilli launches that. No idea where. Nice pass from Hughes to Nazar. Good save from the goalie. I'm actually not sure who they got in net. Uh, I'll have to check after the game. Come on. There we go. Strong blue line. Not sure who just uh, laid somebody out. It's Moscovich. Let's see those perfect hands. All 99. Nazar to Hughes. Sorokin's in net. Makes a nice save. And our top line's out there now, guys. 30 seconds to go. Johnson, Beniers, Brisson. Honestly, if I'm the coach, they're not leaving the ice. They're playing the last 30 seconds. Keep the puck. Same with the top D pair. Power and Hughes. Oh, no. McKinnon's coming down. They got the goalie out. Hughes on McKinney. He's actually quick enough to get in front of him. Beniers, what a pick. Keeps that puck off the capital sticks. 20 seconds left now. Power gets it along the boards. Just dumps it in there around the glass. Doesn't even shoot the net. Noah Dobson on it for them. 10 seconds left. And the Michigan Wolverines pull this off. Like I said, I honestly was starting to think it was never going to happen. This is our second playoff appearance in nine seasons. Kent Johnson, I even realized, gets a penalty there with seven seconds to go. Actually, eight seconds to be exact. Goalies pulled. Are you kidding me? Do they have a, do they have a face off in our zone? They do. This is huge. Fantilli doesn't win it. Garland, nice save from Portillo. That's what you're here for. Casey on the boards. Dobson, another save from Portillo. And the Michigan Wolverines are Stanley Cup champions. Let's go. I was actually so upset too if we never won the cup as I took the time to like alter every single dude's game face on this team to actually make it, you know, not the generic dude. You guys will probably be able to see that once we have the team pick. Like I said, maybe we just needed uh, Cam York to come join this team, Portillo, to play every single game. I don't think, you know, those, those two small asterisks are going to be too big of a deal. Especially, too, when we take out the dynasty that was the Washington Capitals. What a way to do it. And I love, too, like these jerseys we're wearing in Washington. You can see there the fans. Tons of red in the crowd, but it's going to be... Uh, Maize and blue, hoisting that Stanley Cup. Now you got Matty Beniers rocking the C. Looks pretty good. I feel like I did a decent job with that game face. And look at this, guys. The captain, Matty Beniers, won the con smite. They got him as 18 points. I wonder if that's accurate. I guess we didn't really play that many games, so maybe it is. And Matty Beniers getting all the camera time right now, coming back out to lift the Stanley Cup. Rocking the C again. Big fan of those jerseys. Curious who will give it to first. I honestly couldn't think of who it was going to be. And as you can see there, he gives it to his line mate, his boy, Kent Johnson. I honestly, I respect that one a lot. I mean, they're all basically the same age. It's not like there's some veteran on this team who hasn't won in a while. And after Johnson, Beecher got it. Okay, so they're actually just giving it to a bunch of the stars. And now, guys, we got Portillo lifting the Stanley Cup. He's a big reason why we won this. Only 82 overall, but I think he still has had these playoffs. Very curious to see um, what his stats were. And here we go guys. The moment we've been waiting for. Michigan Stanley Cup winning team pick. Let's go. Um, you can see their alternate captain. I think that's passage off there with BA. But uh, most of them you can see. You know I went through and uh, changed how they look. So there you have it guys. The Michigan Wolverines are finally Stanley Cup champions. After going 16-4 and in the playoffs. Just ridiculous. 
Matty Beneers there, yeah, they were a little bit off. He had 23 points in 20 playoff games. Very impressive. Fantilli, 22. Same with Johnson. Smoskovich, 21. Uh, Brisson there was a point back, being a point per game. Nazar, 18. So the top six carried this team. Luke Hughes finally showed up, 15 and 20 in the playoffs. Owen Power only had nine. So really need to see that from Luke Hughes a little bit earlier in this simulation. And look at that, I was right. Portillo's best stats of his career in the playoffs where he wins the cup. 0.932 save percentage, 2.27 goals against. Yeah, if he would have played like that in a bit more regular seasons, I think we would have made the playoffs a lot more, but cannot be upset. I'm just so happy. Finally won this. I'm like four and a half hours into this recording, so <laughs> I did not want to have to go on for like six hours or something. Take a look at the awards next here, guys. Obviously, we got the most important one, the Stanley Cup. Uh, no President's Trophy also won the Clarence's Campbell. Individual here, Dreisel Art Ross and the Hart. McCarr James Norris again. Dreisel Lady Bing. Morrow there, Calder. Beneers Khan Smythe, Shashurkin Vesna, along with the Liam Jennings, Samurka, Bill Masterton, Philly coach Jack Adams. How does it not get art coach any of the years we made the playoffs? Like, we always suck. Only made it twice. Come on. Cooley Selkie, Dreisel, Ted Lindsay, Michkov wins the Marisha Shard with the Maple Leafs, so that's where he went. Again, I did like the entire NHL a favor, drafted him, and then just let him go because I literally couldn't sign him. So there you have it, guys. The Michigan Wolverines are finally Stanley Cup champions. Only took them nine seasons. One more than the Canadian World Junior team, which did it in eight. So I think that's not too bad. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that sub button down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.